Hi, and welcome to my presentation of my website submission for BAS 300 Assessment 2. My website is designed to reflect the key colour that I've taken out of my site analysis. And my concept derived from the wharf cranes that sit on the Fremantle horizon. The red hues are dominant through the site as they are reflected in the design itself. Navigation through the site is simply a click on the tab options located on the header of the page. All images when clicked open in a pop-up that allow a more detailed scale and a more in-depth investigation of the works. Let me introduce you to my design. So the Fremantle Connective is derived from my initial investigations and in that the site facilitates the connection between the city and the beach and acts as a connected space for users alike. It is a space to eat, a space to play and a space to connect. So the About option first of all gives an indication of my design and how I've approached the brief and why my design functions as it does which is a space centred on connection. From here I also included my spatial glossary. Now it's very important to adapt my design to the core themes as expressed in my spatial glossary. So through images and text the link show aspects that incorporate these core components which include engaging spatial experience, sinuous harmony, opposing forms, illumination and visual stimulation. Um, the explanatory portion gives an in-depth visual explanation of the journey taken to arrive at my design. So this is all the way from my original site analysis um, through to conceptual forms and then the actual way that the form was derived. I've also included plans. So the plans are actually of my site plan as well as each individual floor plan. So we've got our ground floor, first floor, mezzanine, second floor, as well as our roof plan. Again, clicking on those will give you a more in-depth um, in scale. So elevations, um, elevations are from all four orientations, the north, south, east and west. And my sections include two sections cut across the axis. My perspectives included indicate a realistic feel for users and how the space would act as a connection point for both the site and the people. So looking at the entry point from the Bathers Beach side um, and how the boardwalk is going to connect all those spaces. Then you've got the subtle integration of the roof space which sits adjacent to the grass area next to the roundhouse. And then also how the actual viewing platform where you can view the cliff as well as the integration right next door to the market space would actually, um, would actually work. I've also included just an author section just to indicate who I am and the actual purpose for this submission. So I'd just really like to thank you all for listening and I do hope you enjoy the design proposal as well as the website. Thank you.